At least six people have been shot at an apartment complex in Fort Worth, Texas, police reported. The ages of the victims range from 3 to 19. The incident took place on Wednesday evening at an apartment complex in the 3000 block of Las Vegas Trail in the western part of the city. According to the Fort Worth Police Department early Thursday morning, a total of six victims received injuries ranging from minor to severe. Police received a call about a reported shooting at an apartment complex at around 7.30 p.m. When they arrived at approximately 7.38 p.m., officers located several victims with gunshot wounds outside in the parking lot, police said. Five of the victims were hospitalized while one refused treatment for their injury, the police said, adding that the conditions of the five who were taken in for medical care are currently unknown. Making a statement regarding the shooting incident, the authority said that the Fort Worth Police Department can confirm that a suspect vehicle was observed driving by this location and at least one or more individuals shot from the suspect vehicle toward all of the victims at the location. The investigation into the shooting remains open and officers are gathering information and attempting to locate the suspect vehicle and suspect or suspects. NATO may intercept Russian missiles over Ukraine to protect Poland. NATO allies could potentially shoot down Russian missiles flying towards Poland over Ukrainian airspace, the former Polish National Defense Minister and security expert Janusz Oniskiewicz told Ukrainform. According to Oniskiewicz, NATO is currently unable to extend its security umbrella over Western Ukraine. However, it's both possible and necessary to arrange that missiles threatening Polish airspace can be intercepted by Poland's air defense systems from our country. This would require Poland to have a full situational awareness of Ukrainian airspace, meaning information from Ukrainian radars and other sources which Poland does not have access to at present. Oniskiewicz stated, the former minister noted that a decision to intercept missiles over Ukraine on their trajectory towards Poland could be made, yet it would have to overcome resistance and taboos, including those from NATO partners who must either agree to use Allied air defense resources or at least not to oppose such action. Oniskiewicz suggests that a resolution to intercept missiles heading towards Poland may be achieved during the upcoming NATO summit in Washington in July. It should be noted that Poland is considering overhauling its military reserve force amid concerns that Russia's invasion of Ukraine could spread to NATO. Warsaw's Defense Ministry said it is convinced that the potential war would be long and bloody, highlighting the importance of a large reserve force to defend the country. Under the planned reform, around 150,000 people under the age of 55 would be recruited as active military reservists by 2039. This would be attached to specific units and undergo regular training to update their skills. We want to shift the focus from a passive reserve to an active reserve that is constantly in touch with specific units participating in their daily routine. Poland's chief of the general staff, Wieslaw Kukula said, to accommodate the target number of reservists, the Defence Ministry vows to ensure equipment availability and improved quality of training. Russian military corruption probe could lead to jailing of defence and finance ministers. The case against Russia's Deputy Defence Minister Timur Ivanov may involve other Russian officials. Corruption remains a major issue within the Russian military, according to the British Ministry of Defence. British intelligence indicates that the corruption investigation has implicated Sergei Shoigu's first deputy, Ruslan Salikov, whom the FSB interrogated. Salikov is described as Ivanov's patron and effectively ranks third in the Russian Ministry of Defense after Minister Sergei Shoigu and Chief of General Staff Valery Gerasimov. 
Salikov has long-standing connections with Shoigu, having worked under him at the Ministry of Emergency Situations of Russia before following him to the Moscow Region Governor's Office and then to the Ministry of Defense in 2012. There are also suggestions that Ivanov's case may touch on Russia's finance minister, Anton Siluanov. Intelligence indicates that construction agencies of the Ministry of Defense built a house for Siluanov. British intelligence notes that corruption in the Russian Ministry of Defense is one of the primary issues. In 2019, Russia's chief military prosecutor, Valery Petrov, stated that corruption is the root cause of most problems in the rule of law. Corruption has been a factor in Russia's poor efficiency, especially at the beginning of the Ukrainian conflict involving expired rations, poor quality tires and reports of fuel embezzlement. On April the 23rd, Russia arrested Deputy Defense Minister Timur Ivanov on suspicion of bribery, placing him in custody. Some Russian media claim that Ivanov was arrested not for corruption, but for state treason. However, Moscow has not officially stated this. Sources from RBC Ukraine within the special services reported that the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine effectively assisted in exposing Ivanov. In March 2024, the main intelligence directorate gained access to Ivanov's official documents, leading to an investigation against the Russian official after disseminating information against him.